guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalkers mwah! welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey. Getting into this, I have something off to my right. I thought I was going to be sitting down and doing a review on. It is a bag that I received from Babala, but there have been some questions about Babala. There have been some questions about the ability to get to the site, to access the site. Look, this is a channel where I entertain questions and comments. People are entitled to express their feelings about things that they see on my channel. I want to show you before we go there what I received from Babala to lead into what we are going to be talking about. The Birkin 25 with the silver hardware. I wanted to receive a bag like this in the color gold or a brown hue with a little bit of an undertone to it. I want to get into the specifics of what I'm looking for when I do a review and I share these with you guys. The very first bag that I reviewed that I received from Babala based upon what it was they allowed for me to select was the Black 25. I will post that video here, here in case you have not seen it. I've also reviewed a Birkin 30 in the color Navi. And now I have this bag that I received, which is the 25B Birkin in the Togo style leather. I did not do a video of me taking this bag out of the packaging. If you want to see all of that, you can go back to the previous reviews that I've done for the 25 and the 30 to see how nicely packaged that these come. It has never been an issue where it arrived and there was damage, scratches, none whatsoever. So I'm going to sit this off to the side and we'll come back to this. I do want to get into this discussion. There are some who have successfully purchased items from Babala.co. There are others who have tried to make the attempt and for some reason have not been able to get to the site. And some people have opinions that they think that the site is a scam. Other people have opinions where they're skeptical about the process to make payment. If you are interested in something that is on their site, go to their site and reach out to them and ask any and all questions that you may have. Their site goes up and down based upon what they're adding or what they're taking off as far as availability. If you search YouTube, there are a plethora of people who have done reviews on their bags. All of the reviews that I have seen thus far for their bags have been A1. When they send you something, it's not cheap, it's not PU, it's never something where you're getting a bag that is not a leather item. There may be some little imperfections, like a little extra leather someplace, but it's nothing where you're receiving a bag and the bag looks like an absolute disaster. From none of the reviews that I've had a chance to watch, from none of the reviews that I have done myself, doing something like these is a good way to do one of two things. One, road test before you even get to purchasing the authentic. And two, if you're loaded up on authentic pieces and you are in the mindset where that is not what you want to do moving forward, because we all know that whether it's Balenciaga, Hermes, Chanel, everybody is batting $5,000 or more for bags. In that mindset, on the second side of the fence where you've got an established authentic collection and you're reconsidering what it is that you would like to do moving forward 
and you still want a bag that runs in that arena and you don't wanna break the bank to do it, this may provide a, an affordable option or direction for you to go in. Now, I am not saying you should go and make this purchase. I am not saying that you should not make this purchase. I'm saying do your homework and decide based upon what you are comfortable with. I would not sit here and review these bags if these bags were not of good quality. I would not sit here and talk about how these pieces just work so well in the manner in which that they come in such good crafted quality and condition. It is not like they're sending pieces that, oh, it's just a few select people who are receiving. No, I encourage you to go and look at all of the reviews, then make your decision based upon that. I am only one of a lot of people who've had the opportunity to be able to select something and review and discuss it. As far as I see it with regards to the bags and the quality, this feels like it was handcrafted. There's not anything on this where it looks out of place. This is a great looking piece. If you're going to go and spend four to six hundred dollars depending upon the quality of the leather that you choose for your bag it would be the way to go if you're interested in having something like a 25 or a 30 or a 35 and you don't want to break the bank if you have questions go and do your homework with regards to them there are many people who like i've said sat down and done reviews of these bags and it can't just be one person who's saying, oh, they're this. There's a whole lot of people who really like the quality of their bags. There are people in my comment section who have made purchases from Babala. I can't speak to when their site's available, when their site is not available, if it's up, if they had the I don't know anything about how their business runs behind the scenes. But what I do know is, if you're interested in having something that is going to give you the look that you're going for and you can feel comfortable with carrying it, then this may be a route that you would want to go to pursue. As far as this 25 goes, I didn't want to just continue to do a review and just show you me un packaging this piece. No, I wanted to get down into the knit and the grit and have a discussion with you guys. If you're concerned about being able to make a purchase, they accept wire transfers. That's all they accept. They do not accept any other forms of payment, but they will provide tracking. They will provide who the carrier is, all of those things, so that if you have any questions about where your item is, you can reach out to them on their site because there is an ability to chat with them. So let me just take it in another direction. What I feel about these bags and the quality, this is a great crafted quality piece. I'm not going to make any comparisons by way of this bag and the big age, but I will say for the other pieces that I've had a chance to sit down and review. If you do not want to walk up into, and you know what those fashion houses are, and drop that kind of money because they've had quality issues, and you're being asked to shell out seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars for pieces, you may want to consider if you're interested in newer pieces from those particular design houses that you go the route of a dupe. If you're looking for something authentic, go to the resale market and look for things that are of more quality from older collections. That's the balancing act that I am doing at the moment. There are some pieces that I still look at from older collections that I am interested in, but from the newer collections or 
certain types of things that I'm interested in, i.e. the 25 and the 30, but specifically the 25, I've already decided, as I've said in other videos, that I'm not going to go down the road of pursuing a 25 or a 30 on the authentic side, either new or pre-loved. I'm just not going to do that. Now for other pieces, perhaps maybe later on for some Chanel's or Balenciaga's or some other things, yes, I would pursue those pieces on the pre-loved market. But for newer versions, newer introductions of those particular design houses and their bags, I would not. I would look for things that were from new collections that were in the form of a dupe or replica, whatever you want to call it. So it's a mixed bag with me. I have no problem with going authentic. If it's pre-loved from many, many seasons past and it's something that I'm interested in, no problem whatsoever. But for the newer collections with the quality issues and all of those things that are coming up on the radar that people are hollering and screaming about, no, I'm not going to make that type of an investment spending $7,000 for a bag to fall apart on me. You can do what you like. I am not going to do that. We all work too hard for our money to shell it out thinking that we're buying quality when we're buying crap. If you decide you want to go that route, be patient with their site. They go through a lot of changes and updates. It doesn't mean that there's a problem. It doesn't mean that they're trying to scam you out of your money. So give them some time and be open to communicating to them on their site if you're interested in making purchase from babala.co. I will leave the link to their site in the description box below. Any questions you have moving forward, Feel free to visit their site and ask away. They're very friendly. They're very personable. If you're looking for something to purchase and you want to make sure that what you receive is actually what it is that is coming to you, then ask questions and make sure that you can get photographs and a tracking number, which they would supply anyway. Reiterate to them that you'd like to see what it is that you're receiving and a tracking number so you can follow the item's path to you. I wanted to show you this, but I wanted to get into the discussion. I hope this answers any and all questions and understand any comments that you leave. I don't take them personally. I'm just trying to assist you if you're interested in going this route and finding something that interests you on their site or not. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. Head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there, feel free to DM me there or head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM, message me there as well. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Stop to me, stop to me.